Buddy, it's Brian Shannon from AlphaTrends.net. Today is Friday, the 9th of March, 2018, and we had a great week here for equities. I mean, look at these numbers year to date. It's like nothing ever happened in terms of that uh, large sell-off we had seen last month. So let's take a look at the action and see what happened here. Uh, this week, we had a little bit of uh, weakness during the middle of the week when we got down to that five-day moving average, which was declining. On Thursday, however, we got back above that five-day moving average and as I pointed out to subscribers that made it with this higher high above a, a rising five-day moving average it put the buyers back in control and today obviously the market really took off from there we are up against these uh, highs since the uh, recovery in fact this is the highest close in the S&P 500 we've seen since the large sell-off we're clearly above all the important volume weighted average price levels and once again the longer term time frame still remains higher Last Last week we saw that we made a lower high, uh, at, but we didn't see a lower low that went along with it. So uh, the longer term uptrend is still intact, and you just can't make this script up. If you were to write, if you were to at the beginning of the year say, uh, you know, I think we'll see a 10% decline, and then uh, to come back pretty much all the way, uh, most people would not believe it, including myself, and that the Nasdaq is up at an all-time high with it pretty significant gain here today so again looking at these uh, year-to-date uh, numbers the Nasdaq is up 11 percent after a four percent week t uh, this week and as I've mentioned you know you'd see a lot of people calling this a double top over here it is not a double top until after this level has been violated until then it's just a, another peak in that same area a double t uh, top is something that looks like this and and it's completed down here so get that double top stuff out of your mind what we saw instead was a break higher or you could call this a cup and a handle if you wanted to the fact is we're above a rising 10 20 50 day moving average we maintained above the year-to-date volume weighted average price and the more important uh, group for technologies the semiconductors has been leading the rally and again no such thing as a double top here until this low is violated and now obviously you can throw that theory out the window so what we're going to be looking for in the nasdaq is for uh any pullbacks down towards the 169 to 170 area to offer potential support and some day traders might get excited about a pullback in towards that level but right now you've got to be impressed with the strength of this market the uh, semiconductors same story and we're getting a little bit extended from there but still all the way down to about one 108 uh, is still what we would consider to be a, uh, a pullback within an uptrend. Most importantly, though, from an intermediate term perspective, the rising five day moving average tells us that if you're going to be a short seller, you don't do it for more than just a quick scalp. The Russell 2000 uh, continued its breakout here. I suggested to subscribers that I thought we wanted to be careful about buying a break here because it had already been extended getting to that point. It wasn't a short sale, obviously obviously because we're above a rising five-day moving average but this market certainly outperformed my expectations the market that uh, we did well with though is the biotechs because this group made it a lot easier to trade as it came up to this resistance pulled back and then broke higher so the biotechs uh, actually look like they are headed for uh, some more significant outperformance and you can consider this group innocent till proven guilty as long as we're above of 111 and a half to 112 ish area the um, let's take a look real quick at uh, uh, at Bitcoin and at gold those I've been uh, keeping an eye on lately and uh, the Bitcoin we can see here this is the uh, volume weighted average price from the peak right here and as we expected the market did find sellers at that level I had suggested that uh, because the declining five day 50 day moving average was still declining we're still in an over overall downtrend for the uh, for Bitcoin and it failed to hold at that volume weighted average price from the prior low so that's to me significant that we you know I was thinking maybe we could jump you know 
drop down and then recover from there and that's still a possibility there's you know two things that tell me that you know basically if we remain above 8,000 uh, then we have the potential for a bounce that, that might be significant but right now the the momentum is clearly still lower um, we are above a two-thirds retracement 61.8 percent retracement of the uh, the low down here to the uh, recent high and that's what this green level is it's a 61.8 percent retracement another thing about this area is we're right on the 200 day moving average and the 200 day moving average is rising buyers seem to be trying to defend that level for now and if bio if if the uh, Bitcoin is going to bounce I would think it would do something similar to this uh, and then maybe get going but for right now the momentum continues to be on the downside and there's really no reason to be putting trend trading money into it if you're looking for deep pullback retracements for a bounce then perhaps you consider some in here uh, we are long a, a small portion at alpha trends um, and we're down slightly on it we're, we're long at an average of 9300 in fact um, gold continues to be constructive here on the weekly time frame there's no reason to get involved uh, from a longer term perspective until it breaks this uh, 1380 ish level we still have higher lows with a rising 40 week moving average and uh, again you know back to these markets you just can't make this stuff up it's great time to be a trader and uh, hopefully you're doing well in this market thanks for your time and have a good weekend